And finally, new rule. Well, we had a good run. I know that's not really a rule, but since everything in America is about to change in a very fundamental way, what the fuck? <laughs> Rules are about to go out the window. Tuesday is election day, and I know I should probably tell you to vote in what, honest to God, is really the most important election ever. So, okay, yes, you should vote. And it should be for the one party that still stands for democracy preservation. <laughs> <clears throat> but <clears throat> it's also a waste of breath because anyone who believes that is already voting and anyone who needs to learn that isn't watching and no one in America can be persuaded of anything anymore anyway. <clears throat> <clears throat> the January 6th hearings, it turns out, changed nobody's mind. Democrat Jamie Raskin said the hearings would tell a story that will really blow the roof off the house. No, that was Hurricane Ian. <laughs> the hearings, roof not blown. The committee did a masterful job laying out the case, but we live in partisan America now, so it's a little like doing stand-up when half the crowd only speaks Mandarin. <clears throat> no matter how good the material is, it's not going to go over. After all the hearings, the percentage of Americans who thought Trump did nothing wrong went up three points. That's American now. It's like trying to win an argument in a marriage. Even when you're right, it still gets you nothing. <laughs> ben Franklin said our country was a republic if you can keep it. Well, we can't. And unless a miracle happens on Tuesday, we didn't. Democracy is on the ballot, and unfortunately, it's going to lose. And once it's gone, it's gone. It's not something you can change your mind about in reverse. That's gender. <laughs> so here's what's going to happen. Republicans will take control of Congress, and next year, they'll begin impeaching Biden and never stop. They'll impeach him for getting out of Afghanistan and getting into Ukraine for inflation, for recession, for falling off his bike, it won't matter and it won't make sense. But Biden will be a crippled duck when he goes up against the 2024 trump Carry Lake ticket. And even if Trump loses, it doesn't matter. On Inauguration Day 2025, he's going to show up, whether he's on the list or not. And this time, he's not going to take no for an answer, because this time, he will have behind him the army of election deniers that is being elected in four days. There are almost 300 candidates on the ballot this year who don't believe in ballots. And they'll be the ones writing the rules and monitoring how votes are counted in 24. The facts, the policies, the behavior don't matter anymore. Trump could be filmed throwing a baby off a bridge and still win. Not to give Herschel Walker any ideas. <laughs> This really is the crossing the Rubicon moment when the election deniers are elected, which is often how countries slide into authoritarianism, not with tanks in the streets, but by electing the people who then have no intention of ever giving it back. The Republican up for Wisconsin governor just said if he's elected, quote, Republicans will never lose another election. This is how it happens. Hitler was elected. So was Mussolini, Putin, Erdogan, Viktor Orban. This is the it can't happen to us moment that's happening to us right now. We just don't feel it yet. We're the Titanic right after the iceberg hit. And honestly, too many Americans just don't care and won't even care after it happens because they never followed politics to begin with and were never taught in school what democratic government was supposed to look like. So how sad can they be about losing something they never knew they had? You can try and tell them that we will no longer have a system of checks and balances, but they will have an answer for that. What's checks and balances? <laughs> Democracy's hard. Athens didn't have to deal with Fox News or the smartphone that made everybody stupid. And they only lasted 200 years. So R246 doesn't look that bad. But before we do go, I'd like to say a little farewell 
to some of the things that really did make America great that now we're going to lose forever. Like the peaceful transfer of power, the jewel in our crown, that thing that so many other nations couldn't pull off that we always did. Oh, well, the Bill of Rights. When there is no accountability at the ballot box, there are no actual rights. Look, Generalissimo Trump is not going to bring back child labor or end Social Security or resegregate the water fountains. He doesn't hate Jews. Ivanka's a Jew and he loves her. <laughs> now that she's 40, only as a friend, but still. <laughs> But make no mistake, it will be an entirely different way of life for many, because our elections will just be for show, like in China and Russia and all the other places Trump says are very strong. Free speech? Well, he's a man who's always taken criticism well. <laughs> but I wouldn't count on that one lasting. I wouldn't count on freedom of religion lasting. QAnon and the other shock troops of the Trump takeover of the Republican Party are all quasi-religious entities who want a Christian government. Oh, and the FBI might be replaced by an army of Proud Boys under the leadership of Michael Flynn. Even something like pot, will it stay legal? It probably depends on whether Snoop Dogg calls Trump brilliant one day. I mean, that's... That's how things will be decided, not by the rule of law. Ah, the rule of law. That one was a real jewel, yeah. Maybe our finest hour as Americans was after World War II when we gave even the defeated Nazis a fair trial. Just as Robert Jackson said that voluntarily submitting our captive, defeated enemies to the rule of law was one of the most significant tributes that power had ever paid to reason. Well, power will very soon not be paying any more tributes to reason. Not in America, anyway. So, yeah, I urge you to vote, but I've always been a realist. I'm afraid democracy is like the McRib. It's here now. It'll be around for a little bit longer, so enjoy it while you can.